Right, we're playing with the new Defender today and what we're going to do is we're going to try and drive it up our display ramps so we can have a look underneath. So we're also going to raise the suspension into off-road mode so we've got even more visibility when we get under there. But really it's just a bit of a thing to play with. The the extended height mode and also we are going to put it in low range to make it easier to maneuver so we've got gary sat in the car he's not driven the defender before or driven up a set of ramps before or used any of these things so we've run for it quickly but he hasn't actually done it yet but i'm hoping to show that that the new defender makes things like reversing up ramps and stuff easy and more accessible to novices um, because the brakes will hold it as we start going up the hill and stuff like that so that's the intended purpose of the video right then right so let's have a look Gary right Gary's got the keys Gary's flying it right so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to put the car in extended mode so that's it make sure I'm pointing so you've got the up there so when you press that up then Gary you can see the light now when it reaches height the light will extinguish so it's i'm leaning in through the window and it's taking my arm off but we're doing fine right there you go the height so we are now in off-road mode so now you can see we've got it jacked up in fact it's, it's sitting that's sitting pretty high um now apparently there are two modes there's mode one and i forget the figures it like raises it like four 45 millimeters or something another one raises it 70 i forget the exact 75 is it 40 and 75 yeah so there's two modes but it doesn't tell you it says the car will decide which of the two modes it'll tell you and the other thing we did actually gary do you want to go back to the home screen on the go back to the home screen on the navigation let me open the door and lean in now right so on the home screen there we go you can go onto the app which is that little thing there and then you can select the vehicle dimensions and then it's got two modes it's got on mo on road and off road so if you select the off road mode you can see there it gives you the heights and the approach angles and everything uh, which is quite cool so um, we put that on now for reversing up the ramp I don't think you could put the cameras you could put it into camera mode Gary so if you click that one there and then you should see the 360 degree camera as we go back but i will be directing you up the ramps and right so actually next thing right so that's now in high we're now going to put it in low mode so if i press this one now it should give you a message on the screen can you hold the camera yeah. there gary yeah so it's saying to select neutral to engage low range right, i'll let you do that then gary i'll yeah. close the door so put your foot on the brake put it into neutral there you go it's in neutral yeah sure i show people the light there so we got it in neutral there and then it's the low uh, it's, it's saying low range selected it come up on, the dash, yeah. on the dash brill and the light's all good there right so that should now enable you when you go back it's being in like rather than being in first it should be in like being in like a tenth gear it should go back real slowly so right i'll go to the back so we're going to try and get up these ramps so right then gary if you want to come straight ish back that's right yeah you're doing okay maybe this way a little bit yeah it's good it's good you're fine you're doing spot on gary that's it no right now you might have to accelerate a little bit that's it does that feel easy to control now if you take your foot off the accelerator you'll notice it should hold it was that it so it holds it it doesn't slip away now we're getting a little bit off on this one but keep going i think it'll come good that's it that's it it's getting better a bit more keep going keep going you're doing fine gary you're doing fine a bit more yep a little bit more that'll do yeah. right then so if you want to turn put press park put it in park yeah. right and i've heard the brakes go on stop the engine right now you've got to get out carefully don't fall getting out because you are up high now right right so one thing i wanted to show you yeah, gary you can have my camera case so one thing i wanted to do was have a look underneath the, the car that everyone wants to know and it's quite interesting 
so let's start with the exhaust so first things first i'm um we've got the two litre petrol and i was looking on the parts catalog the other day and apparently it's only the petrol with the two exhausts the diesels have got two exhausts on one side so we can see the exhaust right obviously we've just demonstrated the air suspension you can see we've got the air and there's a lot of people are going oh no you can't do with air what you can do with with coil springs but we'll we'll leave that debate for now so you can see the suspension bags um interesting i was looking at the main hub and i've got a handy little magnet here for me now the main hub carrier is aluminium which is really good for lightweight um in fact even that brake caliper there is non-magnetic um so the, and this whole lower arm here this whole lower arm is one big casting and that is all non-magnetic non so it's a lightweight alloy of some sort so Land Rover have obviously gone to some expense to make this all aluminium and not only does it reduce the weight of the whole car there's a thing where it's called unsprung mass where if the bit that's bouncing up and down is lighter then it's easier to control um, so they've done quite a lot of effort to reduce the unsprung mass also you'll notice we've got the handbrake motor is actually on the caliper so we've got no no handbrake cables running anywhere and that's a lot better than the old discovery 3 and discovery 4 where they had lots of problems with the electronic brake module it also allows it to do some pretty cool tricks as well um right so let's have a look what else have we got under here so we've got the the main diff casing on here now this one i think has got the diff lock capability but i think again it's all controlled by the ecus when we put it in off-road mode so i think that will all be controlled i don't need to worry about it the next thing that struck me was how many under guards they've got on the car now that's great for off-roading but it's also great for fuel economy because if a car is aerodynamic on the top that's great but you can still get a lot of wind drag underneath so i was more than happy to see all this shielding under here all right and as we go to the front <sighs> You'll see, and we have got some more substantial, but again, uh, they're non-magnetic as well. In fact, there was another thing I was going to show you was was up at the back there. I the floor pan is. I mean, I can see a bit of chassis here. Yeah, and ag and again, that is non-magnetic. That 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 um, chassis rail you can see there is non-magnetic. Uh, there's there's a. But there you go, there are some bits that I'm, just to prove I'm doubting myself whether my magnet actually worked for a minute. Um, yeah, the exhaust is, is magnetic. So there we go, so there's the front suspension. And again, if I just slide forward, you can see that the whole front hub, the hub carrier is all alloy. Um, there's a, the extensive use of alloy. That lower arm here looks, looks alloy. Oh no, that that that's cast. That's cast iron. That one. They've made it look alloy with that finish, but but the main the main hub carrier there is all. And even the, it looks like the disc the disc shield which used to rust. They've done those in aluminium too. So I think they have selected and chosen their materials carefully. There you go. You can see all the. There's a little bit where the diff hangs out there. And then if we look back to the back. What's... There you go. So there we go. So that's just a little video, just playing with the off-road mode, playing with the lower shield. Actually, Gary, do you want to jump back in yeah. and let's see if you can drive it down safely as well? So you're still in low ratio. You can use your brakes, but you should feel it's not it's not running away from you. So there we go. But. I don't think you'd want to be trying that in an old Defender on video, would you, Gary? No. There you go. I hope you find that interesting.